mistake. But if there was, whoa, whoa, uh, in icy conditions, uh, your car acts more like a sled. Uh, this means you'll have little control over steering or stopping. Uh, 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 you'll need to increase your space to vehicles traveling in front of you to at least 9 to 12 seconds. Uh, be cautious around oncoming traffic. Be patient. And remember, slow, controlled actions are the key to driving in snow and ice. Ah! Snow and ice can create an extremely hypnotic state if you drive it too long. Try to stay extremely alert. Partial alertness is frowned upon under these circumstances. Now watch out for ice on bridges and shady areas. Do the contract negotiations gone wrong? In the following skit, the role of Gunther will be played by actor Steve Martin. Wow. Steve Martin, really? No, oh. A completely different actor who just happens to have the same name. What are the odds? Enjoy. Uncle Dale! Uncle Dale! What about navigating hills? Uh, well, Gunther, uh... <laughs> I say when navigating hills, either uphill or downhill, it's best not to even try it. You see, in icy conditions, your car acts like a sled, and it's harder to control your stopping and steering. Ergo, it's best to keep you a 9 to 12 second cushion of safety around you, assuming that you use a 3 second cushion of safety in pristine conditions. You see, Gunter, slow, controlled actions are the key to safety in driving in bad weather. I thought slow, controlled actions were the key to dating. <laughs> no, Gunther, that's an entirely different lecture altogether. Like I said, slow, controlled actions are the keys to driving on snow and ice. Now, snow chains can be useful to help enhance traction. Vehicles with snow chains on their tires often perform better than vehicles without chains. Otherwise, it would be a waste of time to put them on there, wouldn't it? Now, while chains give a good bite on soft, fluffy snow, they tend to slip and slide on packed snow and ice. That's why snow tires are also useful for driving on snow and ice. Snow tires, huh? Don't they make an ice tire? Uh, no. No ice tire? Why don't they make an ice tire? Because in the summer, they would melt. Oh, yeah. Now, in snow and icy conditions, plan your turns well in advance. Before I leave my house? <laughs> no, but before you get to the turn, think about how you're going to navigate the turn before you're actually in it. Remember, never turn your wheel sharply or brake hard, as this will likely cause the car to skid. Now, when you need to slow abruptly in snow or ice, brake gradually but firmly, slowing down until you eventually come to a stop. But what if I drive a stick shift? <laughs> well, in that case, you could try driving in the next highest gear. This will reduce the slippage to a minimum when you try to accelerate. You can also shift down to a lower gear to aid in braking. But the safest thing to do when the streets are covered in snow is just to not drive at all. Take the day off. And play in the snow! At this point, I'd like to stress the importance based on my nephew, Gunter, to only eat the white snow. I can't do this. They brought in this new guy. He doesn't even sound like the fat kid. He doesn't look like the fat kid. The script is lame. you got to get me out of here. Get that fat kid back, please.